You said 24 miles a day. That's about what, seven, eight hours of walking a day. So talk, take us through a typical day, like just walking, just walking around. What, what times you wake up, what times you start walking? What were your meal times like? Um, what were your bed times like? It depends on a few things. Depends on how the campsite is that I'm at. If I'm in a campsite that I'm on someone else's land, maybe I'm up early. I'm up at five o'clock breaking camp and I'm off the land as quickly as I can, leaving no trace. And that wasn't all the time, but sometimes you even sleep close to, you know, where someone's living. I wanted to get out of there. If I had a peaceful campsite and the days are longer, then maybe I sleep in a little bit until, you know, seven, eight o'clock, something like that. I, I, I generally liked being packed before eight o'clock, kind of regardless of whatever the weather was or, or the length of the days. I, I felt like if I could get in a good four hours of walking by noon, then the second half of the day would be pretty relaxed and I could find a place to sleep easier without feeling like I needed to really push on and get extra miles. Uh, so probably I'm waking up at like seven o'clock, something like that on most days. Again, depends on the length of the day, depends on the weather. Um, and then ideally, I, I had camped approximately one hour walk from a town or from a shop and I would walk one hour and then, then I would get uh, a coffee, a breakfast, something like that. If that wasn't there, I'm having granola and peanut butter in the morning and I'm having a little, make a little coffee, which I didn't do that often because then I also felt like I was wasting time. Other times I'd just throw back a caffeine pill or something and that would get me going. And then I would walk probably three hours, find somewhere for lunch. If not, making peanut butter jellies, and packing in whatever food I have on me, more granola, nuts, something like that. What about like showering, going to the bathroom, stuff like that? At what point in your day were you planning to do things like that? And where would you go to Walmart in the States and find showers and stuff? Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I would like use a hose probably at churches that I did that a lot in the U.S. But I only really did that in the U.S. because... The U.S. has a lot of spigots that's not common in other countries, and there's just so many churches as well, which is also not common in other countries. So in the U.S., I really relied on churches to shower and, and for places to camp. In other countries, like when I got into Mexico, I started using baby wipes, um, and or I would like jump in a river or something like that. But it was only once every few days, probably, that I would really get clean. But day to day, before bed every night, I would use baby wipes. And if I didn't, then you really start getting rashes and you start feeling real gross, uh, especially with sunscreen on and everything like that and the sweat. Uh, so I use baby wipes uh, at night and then, you know, going to the bathroom, it's like, you just got to get creative and, uh, you know, you find places to go to the bathroom when you need to go to the bathroom. Did you um, wash your clothes regularly or did you have a lot of, like a few different t-shirt t -shirt changes? So one every three days, you'd wash one and then wear two days later and that kind of thing? Uh, wash the socks all the time. You had to have clean socks, got to have clean underwear. The shirts I had uh, were the Lululemon with the silver thread in them. So they never smelled, which was really nice. And they could get pretty dirty without, you know, like totally, you know, reeking. And so I would, I would wash it whenever I could kind of thing, but I could wear the shirt for a few days. And, and through Central America, it was so hot. Basically, I just wore one shirt the entire time. I would, by the end, by the time I was in uh, Panama City, I tried to take off the shirt and it just like disintegrated because I'd sweat into it for whatever, five months, six months, something like that. I also gradually just broke down. Uh, but yeah, like logistically with uh, the laundry, uh, I had a bag, I had a laundry bag, you know, I just separate the dirty clothes basically. And then when I got to a river, if I stayed at a hotel for some reason, I would use laundromat. But if I got to a river, you know, squirt some soap in there, put a little soap in there scrub them clean. And, and that was it. Uh, just try and keep as clean as you could. And you had a budget of about, was it 14,000 a year? So the Philadelphia signs your sponsor, how would that work? They just put the money into your checking account and you would just like, uh, use your credit card and stuff whenever you needed to stay somewhere or buy something or. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. It's just in the, in, in the, in the credit account. And you know, today every country pretty much has ATMs and and a lot of them were adopting like contactless payment or digital payment before even the U.S. was. Uh, 
So yeah, it was, that was really no problem, uh, getting cash wherever I was and using just a debit card. Was that sufficient? Uh, once you got really into it, like got down into Central America, did you realize, okay, I think this, I could do this. Or do you feel like uh, I need to stretch it out? I need to stretch the dollar. I lived especially frugally those first two years, uh, mm -hmm. in part because I felt that like insatiable need to prove myself. And so I would walk 24 miles every day those first couple of years. Thank you so much for watching. Just FYI, we post a new video almost every day. So make sure you comment and subscribe below so you don't miss out on anything. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you're really going to love this one as well. And if you ever want to see a playlist of all of my podcasts or all of the plot twists or any other category of videos, you can find links to those in the description below.